Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Teddy vs. Doughboy Iron Chef Challenge. Chef Teddy Ray will face off against his arch nemesis, Chef Doughboy, in a one dish knockdown drag out situation showdown. This dish will be judged by three gorgeous, fantastically beautiful women who instead of just choosing their favorite dish, will literally hand their draws over to the chef that wins their heart. Teddy vs. Doughboy Iron Chef Challenge is next. No, 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 no. How about you listen to me? I specifically asked for two cases of Coos Coos. Get it here or you're getting bruised, bruised. Thank you. Yo, what's up, everybody? This is Teddy Ray, and we are doing the cooking challenge. As you can see, I'm in my luxurious kitchen. They, they don't want you to have two refrigerators. But you know what? We done got two refrigerators. New nickname alert! Chef Doughboy RD. I'm about to come and cook some fly stuff today. I know Teddy probably cooked something disgusting, probably some trap noodles. He probably put bologna in his spaghetti. Probably something you wanna eat. I'm cooking chicken Alfredo. I got the chicken over here thawing out, you know? It's boneless, skinless, hand trimmed. So this is like grade A chicken right here. This is the OG Kush of chicken. We are gonna be cooking salmon. Eat asparagus. I got the broccoli, the noodles, make some fettuccine alfredo, the ladies, you know, that's a real complimentary meal when you're trying to get them draws. That pasta sit heavy in her stomach, so when she at your crib, she can't even go nowhere. Now, I know you guys might be looking at this like, why is this set up like this? Well, let me tell you, you know what I'm saying? If you ever came from the projects and your gas got cut off, that don't mean that you can't stop eating. So, you know, this is what I like to call, you know what I'm saying, trap skillets. You know what I'm saying? If the gas get cut off, you know what I'm saying? You can still cook meals, you can still make tacos. That's why we got them on the tabletop. So we're gonna try to show you how to do this on a budget. First thing we're gonna cook is our asparagus. We're gonna get it popping. I already got the water boiling. It's at about 102 degrees Celsius. You do know that. I like to get, you know, four or five. And then you just stick them in there like so. And then we're gonna flip them around later. Now, as you can see, this is like, you know, the finest of chickens. That fat, that grease, we gonna keep all of this. Usually white people cut this off. We throw it in something else. We already got this heated up. We get olive oil, we put it in like so. Then you mix it around. You know what I'm saying? And then you mix it around. Then you, then you, and then you, then you. That's what we do. This is for me. Okay. So now what we gotta do is season our meat. Pause. See, a lot of ghetto cooks, they use Lowry's, but uh, I don't do none of that. You know what I'm saying? I get this. This is my secret ingredient, but I'm gonna tell y'all because I love y'all. Kosher, you know what I'm saying? Kroger, I mean, Kroger, it's Jewish. I can do this blindfolded, but you don't need heavy amounts. You just, this is how you're supposed to make it rain in the strip club. You don't throw all your dollars. You lightly, you lightly let it fall and then you flip it. Put the base on the melon. And then you put that back in there. You know what I'm saying? You put your back into it. Get it all over there and then you flip it. Yeah, you just let it smooth out. See, now I feel like DJ Kid Capri. Bruce Lee, you just wanna break it in half. You just do it like that, you toss it in there. You just go ahead and you pick it up. You drag it over here. Oh, oh, stuffing. Can we turn the heat down? Forgot to use some of this black pepper. Yes, I'm heavy handed with seasoning because I'm black. And then you just flip that thing. See, I'm nervous, but I'm in control. I'm a dangerous man with some money in my pocket. Keep up. So many pretty girls around me and they're waking up the rocket. Keep up. Ouch. If you're not getting popped, you're not cooking enough. But we're gonna stop all the getting popped because you're not gonna disrespect my hands. Cause the chef hands is like his instruments. Just put a little extra lorries, you know. Just do this for extras, you know. This is for mama and them. I'm a dangerous man with some lorries in my pocket. Keep up. When you come from where I come from, you don't always have utensils. So just flip these things over. Just take them and flip them. You know what I'm saying? You take them, you flip them. You take them, you flip them. And you want to flip it like good, cause you don't want black burnt chicken. 
So you want it on a nice brown, you know, flip it occasionally to get it right. Hey, y'all shut the f up out there, we shooting. The chef um, that best describes my style would probably be uh, Martha Stewart. You know what I'm saying? Cause she'll go to the feds for her recipes. I'll go to jail for mine. So uh, I would say Martha Stewart cause I believe in what I do and I'm not a snitch. I say like, I'm like an Emerald Lagasse, but you know, just way more cooler. I don't say bam, I will be like, cuz, 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 cuz. And then I, you know, it's something similar to that. Emerald Lagasse, but crippin'. So this is what we're gonna do here now. We're gonna cut the middle of the fish to make sure it's good on the inside. Yeah, yeah, you see that? When you get those pink lines, much like in the barbecue world, then you know you're breaking some ground away. And so now, you know, you just gotta wait. Cause see the outside is burnt, cause that's the Cajun side of me. I just did a show in Baton Rouge, shout out to Southern University, I got booed. But uh, it made me come back with a vengeance. I know this don't look traditional, but this is how, you know, black people do it in real life. Young, younger, not older. If I, my grandma would have slapped the hell out of me. Sorry, sorry grandma. But if this ain't your kitchen, what am I talking about? Baptize it. So see, now you smell that teriyaki, that lemon. That gives you what the world is, balanced, it's bitter, it's sweet. You know what I'm saying? Life is good, then you might have a rainy day. That's what your fish is. Let's check on this chicken. You see what I'm saying about turning the chicken and not letting it get burnt and brown? I know chicken, I've been eating chicken since day one. Literally, there wasn't no formula in my house. Put that chicken in a blender, put some rice, put some water and some gravy in a blender and then that's the baby's food. How you get so bad? Cause I've been eating four quarts meals since day one. I'm gonna taste a little bite of this fish. I don't know what Doughboy's cooking. Doughboy can't cook at all. Doughboy cook like, uh, he has a heroin addiction. It's just dirty silverware and just lazy <laughs> lying everywhere. <laughs> oh. Okay. We might just do a little uh, remixing. He can't cook for himself, his kid. Uh, how often do I cook when my daughter's in town? Let me stop and be a responsible father. Make sure she eats. I had to make tacos for his baby while she was out here. I was like, what's she eating? I don't know, I gave her some chips and some Cheetos. You gave your daughter some Cheetos for dinner? Now, does Lowry's teriyaki and lemon match? That's the kind of chef I am. That's how I learned how to swim. I jump in the pool, I figure it out when I'm in there. Am I drowning right now? Kinda. Come, come, come get a cup. Come here, come here, come here. Why do y'all come here? You see how the noodles are just supposed to flow? You know, it's just, oh, the noodles be like, oh. Let me try another little piece now that I've kind of tried to dilute this with some, some Larry's. Let's see where we're at. Not much better than it was. <laughs> You see that? that? It ain't no pink on the inside. I feel like we good. I feel like we good. Nah, I'ma let it sit a little bit more. Black people don't ever trust nothing. We always gotta give it an extra 10, 15 minutes. Now, let's try to taste one of our asparaguses and see where we're at with that. Still a little frozen on the inside. All right, so the chicken is done. I got the chicken done, you know. Everybody in here want a piece of this food and they can't have it. I'm, I see what it's like working for the Food Network, like Paula Dean. I'm like, how do people just be in there? Like, do she, cause she invite everybody to our house. And she had the slaves, and it was black people dressed up like slaves. Paula Dean had black people dressed up? I thought I, I thought she just said the N-word. She posted that at Georgia, man. She had black people dressed up like slaves. Like, oh, we just gonna recreate history. Oh, I love this portion of history when white people just had everything. That's how Paula Dean talked. I think we should maybe mix in a little bit more teriyaki to kind of mask our errors. Get a little bit of this. All right. Hide your flaws with sauce. That's all you gotta do. Hide your flaws with sauce. I don't know where I'm supposed to dump this grease at in this kitchen, but I'm gonna pour it down y'all sink because I don't pay no bills here. Texas toast, do we have an oven? No. But we have a toaster. Texas toast, as you know, it's a little thick. It's the kind of toast that has hips. Hey, on the real, I don't know how to make Alfredo sauce. When I told him we was doing this special, 
Um, I thought they was just gonna get the jar. I think it's just cream and, and cheese, right? And pepper and some, I don't know. <sighs> How do you start a toaster? Uh, anybody got any tips on how to use a toaster? Ooh, that look like pancake batter, don't it? Like I say, Laurie's gone to everything. I'm gonna put some Laurie's on that. Parmesan. And you just, you know, just let that, that sit. That's your Alfredo sauce right there. Top it off, you put a little black pepper in there. It's a lot of pepper. I think I put too much damn pepper. I'm not really feeling this Alfredo sauce like that. I'm gonna keep it G-Real with you. And the toast is working. <laughs> Garlic and herb butter, you feel me? Matter of fact, we think we're just gonna throw half this whole stick in there. We are. There we go. There we go. Now it's starting to look like somebody. If you think you're lonely now, wait until tonight, girl. Is anybody hungry? I don't know why black people love sauce so much. We go to Wingstop, let me get three honey mustards, two ranches, and one barbecue sauce. But you only ordered a six piece. Let me get three honey mustards, two ranches, and one barbecue sauce. But you only got a six piece. Let me get three honey. Let me talk to your manager. Okay, the bread's just soggy now. Hit that with the uh, uh. Ooh, she wally wally, ooh, she bang bang. You really, really, really chop my broccoli. You really, really, really turn me out. You really, really, really getting me going. You make Alfredo so gangsta style. And now uh, I think we burnt it a little bit. <laughs> okay. what I say? Whole meal full of lorries. Whole meal full of lorries. Boom, you get a piece. You get a piece. There it is. Everybody's got bread. Just lightly, you know, sprinkle some chicken into the into the bowl, right? And then you just gonna take the sauce like so. Now everybody needs some vegetables because vegetables are life. Everybody two pieces. This person will get one. Actually, what we'll do, we'll cut these up amongst the other two. Everybody will get one and a half. You know you got the right amount of sauce to noodle ratio when you stir it. Get that sound. Sound man, come here. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Ooh. Sound like I got a hotel room for the night. That's what it sound like. We're gonna hit him with the lemonade. Lemonade, that cool refreshing drink. Snobby's gonna make one. And we're gonna shake it up. Can I get three cups from you, Mr. Fredericks? Thank you. I'm about to what they call plate it. If you're wondering why the portion sizes are like this, this is how all the big time chefs do it. You just get a little piece. Just get enough to get your beak wet. You don't put your whole face in it, just get your beak wet. Just presentate, voila. And voila. Ciao, my name is Nadia Bedini, and today I'm using my culinary expertise to judge the challenge. Hey, I'm John C, a world-renowned chef. Hi guys, I'm Spicy Mari. I'm gonna be deciding who has the best meal and put my spicy stamp of approval on it. Let the game begin. Okay, smells pretty good. So I this is gonna be delicious. The paper plate could have been a little fancier. Mmm, my god. It's salty. It's cold and hard. And usually I like it hard, but this is too hard. Mmm, linguine. It's good. I would add a little flavor. I don't know who made this, but clearly I do not care about blood pressure. It's too much salt. Let me taste the chicken. I'm scared though. That was not delicious by any means. Mmm. Oh, the chicken's actually good. I mean, it's really salty, but I like I, I like really salty food. Mmm. It's really good. It's disgusting. 
maybe get rid of the um, fat or the, the nerves, whatever. Let me taste the broccoli. I know you can't mess up broccoli. The broccolis are cut a little big. Too big. I mean, it tastes like broccoli. It's not bad, but it just has like no flavor. It wasn't sauteed. Okay, the broccoli is real hard and salty. I don't know how the hell you make broccoli this salty. This is not tasty. This is not spicy certified by any means. This is the worst. It tastes like Newports and sweat. I don't know. It's it's disgusting. Buonissimo. Mwah. Mi piace. I like. What is this? Huh. Where's the rest of it? This is about almost as dark as me, but uh, it's probably gonna be pretty good. Garlic bread. That's Italian too, right? Hmm. Wow. Oh no. <laughs> This toast is overdone. Like it's as hard as a rock. This asparagus looks good. Mmm, it's cooked perfectly. I usually won't eat asparagus because it makes your pee stink. And then also too, you taste like what you eat. So I try to avoid asparagus, so that's a spicy tip. Asparagus, I don't know. I don't know if I want my man to eat asparagus. We'll talk about that. What is this? Salmon? Mmm. Yeah, somebody fat cooked this. This definitely was petty. This is good. Mmm. Nice and juicy. Wait. I think the skin is still on here. This is probably the best salmon I've ever had in my life. I think there's like a teriyaki marinade on here. This fish is killing it. Mmm. Now this is, this is really good. This is perfect. This adds a perfect flavor to this salmon. It's no way Teddy didn't do this. Is this Kool-Aid flavor or something? Mmm. Okay, the Kool-Aid is actually kind of tasty. It tastes like a melted popsicle stick. Okay. No. The pairing of the two, I have to say I'm sorry, is disgusting. Way better than the chicken. So us ladies tasted the food, we had the fish and we had the chicken. Now we're gonna discuss what we liked about it and what we didn't. And then one of the chefs is gonna get the draws. Okay, so the chicken alfredo was not my favorite. It tastes like the chef didn't have any taste buds and just like gave it to me without tasting it first. It was super salty chicken, but it was edible. The chicken alfredo to me was okay. I actually appreciate the effort. It was a complex dish. What was good about it was it was a lot of sauce. You can tell whoever did it knows what they're doing, but they just too heavy on the salt. Like you're trying to kill people up in there. You gotta, whoever did it needs to just use measuring one fourth teaspoon, not the whole daggone container. I mean, the chicken alfredo was pretty. I feel like that's the only compliment I could give it. It looked really good. But what about that salmon though? Trash. I would have to give the salmon two thumbs up. It was the perfect amount of sauce. Only thing was the skin was left on the salmon. Gr uh, uh, oh. But how hard is it to make salmon with boiled asparagus? And I didn't like the pairing with the Kool-Aid because that just killed the flavor. Right, right, because he got up. Okay, I don't know if I'm hood or not. But the Kool-Aid was amazing. Yes, I'm like, if delicious. you were gonna have this, first of all, the salmon was cooked to perfection. Definitely a 10. A 10? Okay, so now it's decision time. Who made the chicken Alfredo? I did. Okay. And you know your boy, Chef no. Doughboy RD, made the salmon. Y'all ladies salmon. can only give the draws to one person. Is it to the chicken or to the salmon? One at a time. Let's start with you. I'm gonna have to drop my draws, these little cute laces for the salmon, for sure, yes. And I don't know what kind of oranges the new black fetish you got, but here's some, yeah, some dirty draws. <laughs> but yeah, it was good, it was good. I don't usually wear draws. Oh, uh, hey. If I did. Tell the truth, shame the devil. You know, I might have to make it a tie. What? Sorry. Thank you, Nadia. So I appreciate you. She's really from Italy, dog. I just want the person to know that's getting these draws. These are my favorite. These actually hold my stomach in a little bit. These, I cherish these draws right here. I can't give them to Salty Man, though. I can't. Hey, I gotta give them to my boy. You no, know, you gotta give them to your boy, girl. Oh, okay. uh, y'all about to kiss again? Well, there you have it. Your boy, Chef Doughboy RD, clearly, as in real life, imitates art. 
got all the draws again. Thank y'all for tuning in to another episode. The little homie is upset. I know you probably want to grab a knife and stab yourself. But Your gums look like salmon going upstream. <laughs> Be that as it may, I won the challenge. I can cook better, Chef Doughboy RD. We will check you guys out. Get in the comments. Let us know what you want us to do next. Let us know if you think the salmon looked better or the chicken. The this salmon was trash, dog. Chicken. All you did was pour teriyaki sauce on it and throw it on a plate. I, I have a solution for that. I call it kiss. Keep it simple, stupid. Just keep it simple, man. Get mad. <laughs> I thought you were about to kiss John and Cena. Here. No. Go ahead, take a bite, Ninja. Disgusting. Lord, please, I don't want to get sick. I got a lot of stuff to do. I got to go to OKC next week. Yeah, I got to do it. I can't, I can't, I got to get it all. Salmon roasting on an open fire.